Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Monday, and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Kalipa, a short format podcast where we dive into something that I'm thinking about for this upcoming week. And of course, we do it while drinking some espresso. Today, I'm drinking some espresso from Cat and Cloud Coffee in Santa Cruz, and I am fired up and ready to go this week. The topic of discussion today is have the birds and the bees conversation and attacking problems head on. So this last week, um, we made some uh, decisions as an organization for our business that we believe were in the best interest of our members, our staff, and for us to stay sustainable for years and years to come. Now, this decision was challenging, but the way we addressed it was clear communication and we addressed it head on. I personally have been in the gyms every day talking to our members and addressing any questions or concerns they might have. And I think in a day and age where everybody's behind a computer, it's challenging because things can get lost in translation. So my motivation for this week is to continuously approach problems in our business head on. Don't try and act like they're not happening because they are happening, but let's go ahead and address them. Let's have a great conversation. And people might not always agree with your decision but they'll surely respect the fact that you're willing to have the conversation and that you're willing to stand behind your decision because you believe it's in the best interest of those that are involved. And really a part of that is this whole idea of birds and the bees. You know, if you have a partnership and you didn't have the birds and the bees conversation like you did with your parents when you were 12 years old or 14 or whatever it is, maybe it's time to have that birds and the bees conversation where it gets a little awkward, it gets a little uncomfortable, but by hitting these challenges head on, I'm confident that is going to be the best thing for you, your partner, and everything going forward. So my motivation and what I'm fired up this week, let's take what I've learned in business about approaching problems head on. And let's take that into all areas of my life. If I know that there's a concern with my wife or with our kids, don't delay it. Don't allow it to become bigger than it needed to be. Instead, just have the awkward conversation. Put the cards on the table. And I'm confident that when you put the cards on the table, when you have the conversation, yeah, the, that, at that moment, it might be challenging. And frankly, it might be awkward. And I've had plenty of those conversations as life has gone on. But I'm confident in the long run, they've been better for our relationship and better for our sustainability as a family and as a business. You know, when Ava got sick, a lot of really challenging conversations occurred. And my wife and I learned how to interact better together in, in very challenging times. And I think that's helped us now. And so if I could relay any type of insight, I would just say, hey, start having conversations now. And if you could have them when things aren't so crazy, maybe in life, if something does come up that's very challenging, you'll be better prepared to uh, attack those conversations because you've learned how to engage each other and um, just kind of put all your cards on the table. So have the birds and the bees conversation, attack your problems head on, and I am fired up and ready to go for this week. I hope all of you have a phenomenal day. And I'll see you again next week for another episode of Coffee with Kalipa.